and it looks like I I checked it over at the other side and I only have that much andersite and I need like this much andersites uh, and I'm just gonna be building some of these because I need um, bricks bricks of stone to go along with the andersite so what I'm gonna do is collect some more andersite check out my workers pick I got my silky there and um, let me make some torches and we can get going with that and hopefully after I do a tunnel or two what am I doing let's just do that many um, I will have enough andersite to build my entrance and show you what type of things I have in mind for my mine that is called suicidal pits so we're not allowed to die this episode not allowed at all so let's get going i got my 50 torches and we're gonna go this way now and look at that diamonds right off the bat one two three four oh I'm trying to die again <laughs> one two three um I'm not used to having a good pick in this series, and I haven't really been playing much Minecraft on the side, um, except for designing some things, and that design um, is designed basically to the fullest extent. I just need the correct blocks to do it, and here is some of it, andesite. Um, I need tons of andesite. Not as much andesite as I do cobble or stone brick but enough andesite to build a small castle doing something amazing this episode this whole series all I have been doing is survival type techniques which is fine and all good and plenty but ultimately, we are crossing the phase from survival to the building phase of the series, which is seri where series should usually begin. <laughs> like if I were to be doing <clears throat> a real edited out series, um, I might have had one or two episodes up to this point. Because even though this is week 7, I've only played the game for 14 hours. This particular world for 14 hours. And you've seen all of it. Other than a couple of really negative parts. Like horse killing. And deeds like that that shall go unnamed. So I'm excited. I actually been like really looking forward to getting back on here and uh, recording this so I can show you the design. But unfortunately, andesite is probably my least plentiful block when it comes to stone-based blocks, and I need tons of it. But I'm still not going to go and just purposely go into a cave and mine it I kind of hope I'm gonna run into enough of it doing this this branch of strip mining and what else do I need I need lots of stone brick stone slabs so it's like basically andesites the only thing I'm really missing from <clears throat> what I want to create this build which I just tweeted a few days ago an image of the creative build or at least not even the more difficult amazing part of it but um, the, what the hallways and stairways are going to look like when it's done 
and I got a really good response with that and I'm really happy to see that um, I'm just afraid that at some point uh, my more, main source of light is going to be the half slab Ooh, I thought it was going to fall down to my death but the whole thing will be dark half slabbed so nothing can be spawned anywhere which will make it safe down there when I was making the prototype for it um, I had tons of bats <laughs> spawning so I'm gonna make sure I get the half slabs down on the floor as fast as possible so um, I don't have to deal with all the mobs trying to make my day difficult so in the um, center of the main hall which is going to be about 30 something blocks high um, I'm going to have the ethos style zombie not zombie uh, mob spawner which is basically the spawning pads with the water underneath so um, they I was going to say just kind of like what he has at the pyramid but I'm not adding the water supplies at his pyramid. I'm not doing the water supply thing that he did. I'm just going to um, make the spawning platforms like he did a long time ago, and have the water push it to the center, and he fall and they fall through um, to their death on top of a hopper, which is going to be in the center of the hall. So everything up is here is done. And um, while I build this huge hall, that will be happening the whole time because I should be within a certain amount of space of these spawning platforms. I'm ha very happy at how well these picks are holding up. It's been a little while since I've had awesome picks in a world and used them. And these are some awesome picks. I just want one more. I got an awesome sword. <laughs> By the way, if you didn't know, White Fire is an awesome name for a sword. And a um, person you should follow. It's the name of a YouTuber. That isn't a popular YouTuber. But should be. And somebody I'm probably going to be collaborating with at some time soon, if I ever get my life into order. Make sure I don't walk past the center place. I mean, usually this is a two or three block wide thing, but I didn't do that here just because saving time. And this is a series you guys are watching, and saving time is a good thing. So let's get back out there. See, now when you turn around, you see the... Um, redstone torch and you know that's where home is because you can walk right by that and go to the other side and not even really realize it and seeing that these tunnels are 500 blocks long that's a big pain in the butt and anything to make the game easier is good that's right i said good when i finally get to it um i'm gonna have a spawning platform that's probably five or six levels high and even when it's done, and right in the center of the main cave, um, the monsters are going to be falling out of the ceiling and landing on the hopper area and going, well, well, I don't have any blocks on my bar. How lovely. I'm hearing hints of 1.9. And unless there is major terrain generation type stuff in 1.9, I'm going to keep... You know, just move this world up into uh, 1.9 to play. And as a matter of fact, I should tell you this now. Uh, 1.8.4 came out, and that's what I'm playing now. Which is the latest one at this particular moment. I do actually, when I'm editing, um, in the past, I would... Edit the video so I'd watch all the content in the video while I was editing it editing it 
And then when it was done, I would watch it again just to make sure it was, um, there was nothing majorly wrong that I had possibly missed for YouTube. And, um, then once it was uploaded to YouTube, <laughs> I would watch it again because just to make sure it was uploaded properly and basically I've come to realize that most of the times I've watched it once I've edited it it's been pretty good and if there's some if there's a big screw up that I might have done because of I have like five minutes of black space by accident in the middle of the video uh, somebody's gonna message me and I can take it down and fix it real quick um, now instead of watching the video while I'm editing editing ding ding editing ding 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 it um I like to add syllables to my words editing the video um I don't watch it again even after it's rendered I won't I will not watch these videos a second time I did initially when I first began but um I don't have time <laughs> Believe it or not, uh, recording of videos and doing the editing, which takes about 45 minutes for each one of these episodes. So basically what I, what I do is I record for two hours, approximately. Sometimes I go over, I, you know, once I get close to the end of the two hours, I figure out what I want to do before I end the episode, then I complete that. Um, oops, I'm going to have to pillar up. So it takes two hours to record an episode or a week of episodes. Then it takes about 45 minutes of me editing, even though there is oh, sucky, no actual editing involved. Um, I rewatch it and I find a good place to cut the video f between weeks because as you know I don't start each v week's video with a hey this is Keith uh, and this is what I do and this is what's going to happen this video because that's kind of a week recording for the whole week not a week recording in general but a week's worth of recording and I don't set up while I'm recording I'm going okay well it's been 20 minutes here's the episode I just go for two hours and find the cut spots so when I rewatch it and edit it um, I basically um, write down the times where I think the video is decent and so uh, while I'm editing this and making sure everything's okay I go okay well between minute 232 to 356 I say some interesting stuff and I would like to include that into my weekly cut video scenes so I write those times down so that's what I do I kind of rewatch it f write down the times where interesting stuff happened that I might want to put in the the cut video at the end of the week and save that as a you know a text file and then I render it so each 20 minute video uh, takes about 45 minutes to render so what I usually do is hang out with my family while I and I render them I spend the day and render the whole or actually I spend the day and edit the whole week's episodes so um, that takes 45 minutes per video times say six so uh three six nine hours no that's wrong four and a half hours of editing for each week and the rendering is another four and a half hours of nothing each week so that's nine eleven hours with the recording of it and maybe another hour to do the best of cut and while I'm uh, doing all this 
You know, I'm thinking of thumbnails. Dang. Oh, I thought you were going to blow up too. It's like I have an extra reach or something. So even though it is unedited videos for the most part, it still does take 10, 15 hours a week for me to <coughs> do all this. I don't know. I'm just amazed. You know, I think, oh, I can record two hours worth of episodes and, you know, maybe four hours a week. I can have a nice, long-lasting series I can do for a long time. And it does, just takes longer than expected. It's the same. Um, with any series, it's everything takes longer than expected. That's just how life is, which is fine. Longer than expected isn't the end of the world. I enjoy doing this, so it's not like I'm, oh man, I gotta edit. Oh man, I've gotta record. Oh man, I gotta stop burping in my mouth when I record. It's not a hassle. I do enjoy doing this, and I do really respect the feedback. I'm going to run back to the beginning and drop off a lot of the stuff I got in that cave. Then look at my coordinates at the beginning, because obviously I messed up with my torches, and I want to make sure that I end it at the right place so I don't have to worry about having the tunnel being 254 blocks instead of 250 blocks long so i'm gonna now start heading back i have a pretty much completely empty inventory and i'm gonna start doing the the side digs every fourth one down so one two three four i'm thinking whether or not i should do tour mm, tutorials on this you know it's kind of basic minecraft but there's hopefully new people playing the game um that would benefit from this information so i know um a few of the people who watch this series are pretty advanced and a lot of things i talk about <laughs> are not advanced so it can be a little monotonous. One, two, three. But there's always, even in something that you've done a thousand times, there's always tips or tricks that people do that you go, oh, I should do that from now on. It was on one of my, the people who belong to uh, the server I belong to. One of the guys, uh, Blues McGroove, who um, I've watched stream before, um, and I've played. I played the UHC with him. He was streaming last night, and I was in his stream, and I'm like, you know, you get into a stream, especially with people you know. You're like, oh, hi. Hi, Blues. Hey, how's it going? And saying hi to all the other people that play on the server and then out of nowhere um because everybody knows me as keith instead of kmaze who actually know me because i introduced myself to everybody as keith but uh now i was saying hi to everybody i didn't this is a big ass cave i uh didn't realize who was there but and there was only like 25 30 people in the stream <laughs> and somebody comes up oh hey Keith how you doing tonight and I'm like Avidia you don't know me Avidia but Avidia's in the uh, Minecracker was in there I guess he's friends with Blues McGroove because I've seen uh, Blues play with him before. And it was uh, kind of nice to talk with a Minecracker for a little while. 
and he's one that I've uh, kind of helped convince me to upload videos because he's laid back like I am. He's not one to like scream and yell, oh my god, this is a creeper. Oh my god, I dropped my sword. Let's curse at it for 10 minutes. No. He's kind of laid back, kind of Buddhist mentality, just accept everything and let shit happen. I don't know. I said, well, if he doesn't have to scream and shout to get views, um, I don't have to scream and shout because I don't want to be screaming and shouting just for screaming and shouting just because that's what's popular. I don't need to put a pootie pie it up so I get PewDiePie type counts. I mean, it would be nice. I guess I, if I was screaming it up and I was getting those types of views, I'd probably continue it, but I don't really want to, so I'm not. And that's one thing that Avidia Zen and watching his channel has allowed me to believe is okay. And and he is one of the few people I still watch his Minecraft episodes. So it's it was kinda nice talking to him. I'm getting eaten up right now too. I made too many monsters when I was talking about a video. So I didn't really, uh, because I also know, I didn't like that, mister. I want a light there. So even though I know he's a minecracker and I don't say I idolize him or anything, um, I didn't want to, like, bother him too much. So this series, yeah, um, I want it to continue for a long time. And when I mean long time, I have a feeling that I want to continue the series for years. Um, I think I've made the decision, and things change. You know, so this ain't in concrete, and I'm not signing my contract, so if the waivers were missed, don't get mad with me. So, this is my door. It's a mighty fine door. I want to find a good place for it to be for open. So, in all actuality, I think that... I think this is the size of the door. So, let's get it going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is ultimately one, two, the size. I'm going to have. Let's do it over here too. One, two. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, these are going to go. These are going to go. Yep. So we're going to go one, two. Well, I don't have to count this out. We're just going to bring it across to this. I guess, should we? Well, before I get rid of them. Um. I'm not even going to have a 
enough andesite to do my door. <laughs> How sad is that? Let me just see what that... That looks really good. I guess I don't want those there either. So let me go up. And clean it out so you can see the whole door. You see what this looks like at a distance. Is that right? That is right. That is what the door is looking like. I'm going to have uh, basically stairs in the wall and uh, a light source behind the wall so that light source I don't think it actually lightens the wall at all but it looks cool I like that effect the, the lighting glitch in a dark area looks really cool because it lights up enough it gives it an eerie feeling kind of like um, when B00 made the catacombs underneath the town hall 